Hi, my name is Michael Lehman, and this is Trailers from Hell. The trailer I'm going to talk about today is Easy Rider. You all know it, you all love it, you all think it's a great classic of 60s cinema. It, uh, it kind of sucks, but it's fun to watch, and uh, let's take a look. I saw Easy Rider in its initial release in San Francisco in 1969. I was 12 years old, and I was completely blown away. I still remember what it was like in the theater when Born to be Wild came up. I thought, oh my God, I've, it's his heaven. I walked out of the theater. It was the best movie I'd ever seen. Now, years later, I tried showing the movie to my 18-year-old daughter, and I sat her down, and I said, you got to see this film. And after about 15 minutes, she said, Dad, will you turn this off? This sucks so much. And watching it with her, all I felt was, she's right. It's terrible. It's dated. It's awful. It's these self-important people talking about their lives as if they mattered in a way that is just felt wrong. It felt completely wrong. Everything that felt true about the movie when I saw it originally felt completely false 30 years later. Jack Nicholson is fantastic in the movie. The movie changes once he shows up. It was a, it was a career-making performance for him. It was something we'd never seen before. But the rest of the movie is just rambling and filled with this ridiculous 60s jargon and Peter Fonda is very self-important and Dennis Hopper is insane and it's directed in a sloppy manner, although the, the, um, uh, they're nice shots of, of the country. I don't understand what's going on with it. Everybody got chicken, man. That's what happened. Hey, you got it wrong? Hey, mister, can you tell where a man might find a bed? It doesn't really cling together as a story, but you can see even in how they try to sell it with the trailer here that this movie thought of itself as being a very important film and the people who saw it like myself at the time thought it was a really important film too I mean remember how how incredibly affected I was by it and how I felt at the end when uh, when the guys get shot by these rednecks it's interesting to me uh, to see how a movie like this changes over time and how it, it meant so much to me but probably wouldn't mean anywhere near the same kind of thing to an audience today Watching the movie with my daughter, it was, it was embarrassing. It was humiliating. It made me think, oh my God, my, my whole childhood, my whole early years are all, they're a sham. They're meaningless. And uh, it, it, it was an interesting thing. I mean, the way they sold the movie and what it meant to people at the time was um, unlike anything else, and it, it changed the movie industry. 